What's up everybody out there on YouTube? It's your boy Jay, aka Pumpkinhead, and you guessed it, Mr. Titus. <laughs> so we had a bunch of stuff to do today. Um as far as uh taking care of a few things here and there and doing a bunch of running around stuff we had to get done and uh it's been a long day already and the only thing i really want to do is find a spot to kick it and uh crack open a cold one and uh just enjoy the rest of the afternoon somewhere so um we're gonna try to figure out where the heck we want to go uh, i got a couple places in mind um as far as uh, hunkering down for the night so I think that um, we're gonna go and and do that tonight um, you guys stick around I'm sure as you can see from the title you'll see where I plan on spending the night um, and this will be pretty fun I plan on catching a catching a, a good evening buzz and cooking some dinner for you guys hanging out with my boy here and uh, come here, let me get some CPs in there. Come here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So handsome. So handsome. So we're going to go and uh, figure out what the hell we're going to do today. Well, not today, but we're going to go figure out if it's going to be a cool place to sleep. And uh, I'd even give you guys a little tour around the place. I drive by it quite a bit. You guys drive by them constantly. Um, and uh, I just wanted to see what it would be like. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get over to where we're going, and uh, we'll see you guys there. What's up, boy? Where are we at? Hmm? <sighs> so, we decided we're going to come down here and hang out at a local pond that I uh, like to come down and fish for trout sometimes in. Now, I won't eat the fish out of here because this is just a little small body of water and I stock this with stock trout. Not a big trout guy anyway. So, uh, but they have these little benches here for people to sit. And uh, it's a cute little pond. Got a gentleman over there fishing. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. But we got a guy over there, and then we got a couple people on the little T-shaped dock right there, out here and enjoying the afternoon. And uh, uh oh, oh no! Let's see here. Hold on a sec, guys. Always keep one handy. Because you never know where jerks are going to be. down here at the fishing pole. Fishing pole. You might find garbage. And sometimes you find a little treasure. Penance is penance. Let's see what else we got here. That was cool. There's a little airport just north of us here. 
up where that airplane is going down right beyond that tree right there there's a little personal airport and uh hey so that might be somebody's pee towel so what i generally do in that situation is mean i ain't got gloves right now i use the bag and let it fall in that's what i've been doing all right oh more treasure so fishermen you guys are bringing your kids out yourselves make sure uh oh. sorry about the shakiness here guys i'm trying to do this with a camera in one hand and uh a dog in the other <laughs> i should totally be out here doing this with my uh with my chest strap but little tang for the case for the bottom of my gopro decided to break on me i gotta find the other one i had before i can wear it and i wanted to come down here and uh see how this place has been since the last time i came down and cleaned it up um last time i was down here there was this sorry last time i was down here there was garbage just riddled all around this area so you know what i did with it <clears throat> oh that's poop goose poop or duck poop thought it was a piece of paper but you know how their poop's white <laughs> all right um i picked up the whole area over here um so i'm gonna go over here and see if uh on the other side of the pond and see if i can spot some more Okay. Come on, Tete. Come on, buddy. Nope. I just dropped it again. Okay. There we go. Come on, boy. Oh, stuck on the blackberry bush. There we go. So the thing about it is, not far from here, a trash can right up here and they do supply the uh, trash liners so what I did is I came down here into this whole area and uh, I cleaned it all up down here last time it still looks good looks like people have been somewhat picking up after themselves and their dogs good to see very good to see myself come with me any luck yet not yet uh they're uh they're in here i just don't know when the last time they stocked it was not quite sure Howdy. All right. Oh. There we go. Good boy. I done hook you. Oh, how's this fishing spot looking? Oh, still looks good. From the last time I got it. Oh, here's a piece I been out here a while. I must have missed that one. That one will come with me. And uh so this is the uh, the Rau River uh, Nature Park, just outside of Cottage Grove, to the uh, to the east of Cottage Grove there on Rau River Road. Um, uh, still looking pretty good over here too. Nice. Okay, so they are keeping it somewhat clean. Good. Um, and these are all just little hiking trails. You can come back here and hike around and. Uh, just enjoy nature really my 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 it does look a lot better still all right so that's good guys i came down here and i 
filled that trash can up full of crap. And I think this might belong to that gentleman down there. Or at least one of these people that come out here and smoke. Ugh. Camel crushes. I'll go ahead and, uh, whoop. Crushes, so. I'm setting the bag. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here, dude. Little bag. And uh, same brand, Camel Crush. And that's mine. It's a nice little trout lure. Uh, basically, cast and retrieve type trout lure. So, all's fair and trash and war, right? All right, guys. Well, we've been walking around. This is some of the creek water on the other side of the pond. Looking for uh, more trash. We did find a bunch of cigarette butts. So, we uh, picked those up. But other than that, it's still looking, uh, looking pretty good from when I was out here last time. Like, it was... Uh, it was really something and uh, I like to come down here and spend a bit of time every other day or so and just walk along the trail here and let him get his exercise take in the the air and the and the sun and uh, look at this pretty little pond over here I know that sun's probably blinding you guys right there so <laughs> But yeah, this is the uh, Rau River Nature Park. And you can come down here and uh, enjoy the day with family and friends and do some fishing or just take a walk or bring your dog or whatever you want to do. This is here for people like you and me to use. And uh, we're going to get head back up towards the truck and show you where we're going to make home for the night. It's kind of cool, actually. This is a trail that leads you in to the... Uh, back there to the pond we're walking out here because uh, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna camp for the night um, you guys see them dotted along the freeways here and there and this is a general parking area for uh, for people to park that like to go back there and fish but this is the park right here Rao River Nature Park and uh, they're trying to save these turtles here um, and those are the western uh, pond turtle these little dudes they provide doggy poopers and another trash can that people have been using thank you thank you so much oh somebody got close there we go so, we're going to go up here and uh, get situated and get some din-din going. <laughs> Can you guys guess? I'm sure you guessed it by the title. Yeah. Pumpkinhead and Titus boy are going to be spending the night <laughs> at a way station comes right in off this road right here uh, let's see if uh let's see if I can zoom this in here and show you that this thing actually still works it is still a way station I don't know if you can see that sign right there I think you can but it says I weigh 240 220 pounds yeah right but this is where we're going to call home for the night. Now, I haven't seen this way station open in a long time. So, I'm not anticipating getting a knock at the door. At least I hope. And if it is, it'll probably be a trooper. 
What are you doing, buddy? Huh? You ever dead to pop the top on this beast? Yeah? All right. Right there. There. Is that better? Yeah, I know. Dad didn't make the bed today. That's okay. Go ahead and hold these bad boys up. It's supposed to get pretty chilly tonight. They're talking below freezing. So, uh, keep you guys posted throughout the night of, uh, how well this Olympia Wave 3 heater does. Which is that guy right down there. Yep, excuse my truck. It's a mess. Been kind of living in it. <laughs> so to speak. But we're going to go ahead and open up that window. So we got some light in here. Do you enjoy your walk, buddy? Huh? Do you enjoy your walk? Ready for kick it time? It's getting to be about that time, bud gonna be about that time time to kick it yes it's your time to kick it it's time to kick it show the people how we do it old get all this crap out of here now i'm up in the mountains a lot guys so mainly when i'm sweeping out is just pine needles um it doesn't get too dirty in here except for my crap being everywhere um but i had coated the floor so this is a one inch piece of uh piece of foam insulation and then I coated the board that I put on the floor with a uh, roll-on bed liner from Harbor Freight and that way if it did get a water spill like you see it did right there it uh, it won't soak into the wood and warp the wood that was the main purpose for it plus I'm sliding stuff in and out of here all the time um, this is my little uh, little mini pantry of course, I got my luggable loo for emergencies. Uh, this is just a, it's a cover for the face of this because these Olympia Wave 3 heaters, they, uh, if you get a bunch of dust on there, that's what ruins those uh, burning surfaces is the dust. So when I'm in travel, I keep a cover on it and they wanted $25 for a leather one. And I'm like, this was $1.99 at Walgreens. So I just keep that there. Uh, pantry items, food. Um, things of that sort pee bottle don't look um this is what we're having tonight guys pozole de porco it's just basically uh pork and hominy soup it's pretty cold out here nice bright sunny day beautiful day but it's uh it's gonna be soup weather tonight is that big 20 pound uh propane cylinder there what tight tight <laughs> what is this boring to you is this all boring to you, buddy? i sorry. Uh, so I'm not sure if I showed you guys in past videos in detail of uh, things that I've done to my uh, things that I've done to my truck so far. Um, for all those who have watched me for a minute, you guys kind of got an idea what I got in my truck. Um, for those that are just tuning in, thank you. Um, stick around i might do something you might like um and if you're still watching you might as well just hit the subscribe button and help me out there a bit and uh i won't bore you with any more of that crap so what i wound up buying when i was up there in the uh, mountains doing the camp hosting gig uh i got tired of going through ice and tired of going through ice in my roto molded cooler i had so i went out and purchased this guy on amazon this is, let me grab you guys real quick. This is a set power, 42 quart, um, 12 volt power refrigerator with economy mode. Um, you could choose the temperature you want things. That's what it's set at now. I'm gonna drop it down to about 33 because what I have in here right now, beer, eggs, butter, beer, eggs, butter, beer eggs butter and it's running now 
and that's as loud as it gets. Um, so I'll scoot this out of the way, and I did make a dedicated line. Uh, so it plugs in right here, guys. I don't know how well you guys can see that back here. Matter of fact, I should probably grab a flashlight, but we'll open up the door some more. So this is my setup. I built out this uh, the whole bed frame here for a queen size bed. Um, let me get this zoomed in here. That's my battery bank. I got two 100 amp hour Red Renogy AGM batteries. This is the little uh, panel that I set up and the fuse block that I have everything in here wired to. And this even has switches on it that you can hook up to things and you can get this off of amazon for like uh 20 bucks for this panel and it's great you hook up a uh, one end to your i got it hooked up to here so i got one end hooked up to a negative i got the other end hooked up to a positive and this is just a fusible link between everything electric in here i routed this all up myself that's a mainline kill switch that guy up there is my genius on board two bank which means it'll charge two batteries at once uh battery charger and you find these on bass boats and fishing boats and stuff this is where i learned about these and i got that routed through here which goes to a plug on the outside of my camper right here and i bought this plug online made by noco the same people that made that battery charger in there for 12 bucks and it's just a through wall socket routed in here behind the board. I had cut all this out and mounted everything uh, to right there. So that hooks up to my batteries and keeps them topped off when I want to fire up my generator or uh, you know, if it's not a good solar day. Now I got my solar charge controller here, which is the wires coming from underneath the truck. Cause you guys know my solar panel is mounted on the, the hood of Boo. And that goes right to the bottom here. And this goes to the batteries to charge the batteries up with the solar panel. And I got this on its own dedicated uh, dedicated line that I hooked up right there. So that's done, out of the way. And uh, the only thing I do wish this had on it was some some handles, some some pole handles, which I think it does come with. I just haven't put them on. <laughs> Matter of fact, I remember it did come with them. I'm an idiot. So, on top of that, guys, you're probably wondering, what do I have in here for, uh, for protection in case this thing's having a malfunction? Well, for one, carbon monoxide detector. Propane leak detector. That's just in case I get a leak in the lines that go to it or in the tank. So that, I usually just toss right over by it. And I got that on Amazon for 40 bucks. I also have a fire extinguisher sitting right there handy. Um, then I have a smoke alarm. Goes right there. And um, yeah, that's all I got to fit. Right, so this is why I like to get him those collapsible bowls they're just silicone bowls you get them from walmart made by alpine mountain i believe they are um they come with lids as well so if he's not hungry just pop the lid on that bad boy and uh set it off to the side same thing if he's not thirsty you can pop the lid on that guy gently and set it out of the way and it won't spill what do you think about that what do you think about that tie tie <laughs> are you in kick it mode are you okay buddy all right guys well if you guys want to watch some cool videos Go ahead and uh, search that. Stealth Camping 
at a cemetery <laughs> behind cemetery and uh, check this guy out so this dude we get some more light in here there we go that dude is resting comfortably of course it's nice and warm in here I do have a thermometer we're sitting at about uh, 65 close to 70 degrees my way through here down there is uh, doing a pretty good job of keeping it uh, decently toasty in here um, I will say that if you're using one of these to heat up your camper or something like that um, it's a very dense heat very wet heat because it's just propane basically uh, the wave free heater is more along the lines of a drier heat it's more of a catalyst heat so uh, it definitely feels more like at home when you're out here so something imperative to keep with you when you're out truck camping yeah because I know when I'm out here truck camping I tend to uh, eat quite a bit of canned food so we're just going to go ahead and open that guy up Whoa, look at that guy. So I cook pretty much right here next to my bed. You can see the burner right there. So just to keep things clean, we don't need those no more. Keep my spoon on top of a uh, paper towel type thing. So... I'll put it right there and the pozole goes right there and that's how I cook in here you know it's just me um, sometimes Hana goes camping with me so uh, this is how I cook for the both of us and it works works really good this whole uh, this whole kit right here to just screw onto these propane bottles it was quite cheap um, to say the least but I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a secret here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add about a cup more water and there is a reason for that and you guys will find out in just a second so what I've added to the pozole in the pot is one of these Spanish rice fiesta sides by that company uh, Nor. So uh, you can buy these for a dollar at Walmart. They're actually uh, 98 cents at Winco. If you got a Winco near you, which is pretty cool. I went ahead. That's why I added that cup of water, so I can go ahead and stir this right in here with a bazole and make a. Uh, Spanish rice pozole stew. Basically, this is a pantry meal, a boondock meal. This cost me $2 for the can of pozole and 98 cents for that. So $3, guys. And this is a very, very hearty wintertime meal. So good. All right, guys. Well looking over here and it's smelling so good look how thick that got already with just that one pouch of rice in there so beans is that thick right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna kill that flame and we're gonna let this sit here and uh, think about itself for a little bit let me let you guys in on a little bit of a boondocking secret. If you're out here truck camping, these uh, bread slices make awesome edible coasters. Right? All right, guys, so 
dinner was a success, obviously. Whew. Would you? You want to be my dishwasher? <laughs> Don't get it all over the bed. What do you say, buddy? Hmm? Any time for night night? Any time for night night time, buddy? Hi, buddy? Oh, CP, a big day? Yeah. Stop it, Dad. Leave me be. I am trying to sleep. I'm trying to sleep. Love you. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Come on, guys. Uh, we made it through the night. No knock. No disturbing sounds or anything like that besides the sirens you hear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Oh, good to get you. Oh, we good to get you. Oh, good to get you, get you, get you, get you. Oh, it's morning beating time. Uh, 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 I'll you up. Uh, 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 uh. God, look at those muscles, buddy. Look at your muscles. Dad's been walking you pretty good, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. guys thank you for joining me on this adventure if you haven't yet smash that subscribe button and uh, give me a thumbs up if you want and me and this boy here are off on the next adventure letting boo warm up a bit and we're gonna be out of here so again thank you for joining me and uh, this is a day in the life of pumpkin head and Titus love you guys <laughs>